Adrian, you're expecting actually more for that auction, weren't you? Yeah, I'm actually expecting uh, 12.4 or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, but it came out at 11.6. So basically, uh, also if you look at the range of the forecast, uh, 10 to 15, it, uh, it's actually a little bit behind the, uh, the market forecast. But, yeah, uh, by 10%. I, it, that's right, yeah. So what happened there? What, what, does that mean that there's not enough interest for property anymore? People are not willing to pay as much? Well, I mean, uh, obviously a lot of things have uh, been like changing over the last few weeks. I mean, you look at the stock market, even you look at the IPO pricing has come off a bit. So that means in met, uh, the investment climate has been uh, deteriorated a little bit because mm -hmm. of the fear of uh, economic slowdown. So I'm not surprised to see actually uh, com contenders are getting a bit more cautious. That's why uh, Cheung Kongs can actually get the site a little bit uh, lower yeah. in uh, market forecast. Were you surprised that Cheung Kong Holdings won that auction? You know, Cheung Kong, of course, being operated by Lee Keshing, the right. billionaire in the city. Yeah. Uh, I'm not surprised yeah. at all. I think um, it's, it's only a matter of uh, whether there are stronger competitors. Mm -hmm. I think Cheung Kong always wants to replenish its number, especially they've got a very strong uh, balance sheet. I mean, uh, they, I mean, after the recent transactions, probably sell, they probably got uh, almost a uh, nail debt at their balance sheet, so they are very eager to replenish them mm -hmm. uh, at a reasonable cost. Yeah, they're right. very picky about uh, the prices they pay. So right. what does this say about the property market, I guess, on a whole, yeah. here in Hong Kong? Yeah. First of all, I think uh, if you look at the price, I think although it's a little bit off, but yeah. uh, I think it's still pretty acceptable. Uh -huh. Even the fact that it's a huge investment, the land itself is already 11.6 billion, and then mm -hmm. you plus another two billion probably on the construction. You're talking about almost 14 billion uh, project mm -hmm. here. And but I'm saying, how do how do we, I guess, uh, take a look at, I guess, the disappointing auction price, right. and how do we translate that into yeah. the regular segment? The uh, yeah, I think I think the, uh, the this site obviously is a very is a super luxury site. I mean, it probably. Uh, uh, not the same with the mass market. I think for the mass market, uh, 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 say in the Kowloon, New Territory, I think uh, shouldn't be affected too much by this. Um, uh, the results of this uh, land auction, yeah. Yeah, actually, I think the luxury segment was holding up pretty well. And yeah. in fact, better than the mass market yeah. in terms of sales, the amount of money and yeah. prices. In fact, we, didn't we just have a, a house on the peak yesterday selling for That's 800 right. million yeah. Hong Kong dollars? That's 100 million US dollars being spent. So are we seeing a slowdown then in the luxury segment? Now, uh, the luxury segment uh, will slow down at some point of time because now we are talking about China slowing down and then uh, liquidity in China is tightened. So, and, and we know that all, a lot of these buyings actually come from the main, wealthy mainland okay. Chinese. So at some point in time, it's going to slow down. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, Barclays uh, was here this week, and they're saying that uh, the mass market right. segment, the residential, maybe the mid-tier to yeah. slightly below luxury tier, will actually see a slowdown in price and maybe a drop of 20% next year because of rising mortgage rates. Do you think that's going to happen, well, translate into the yeah, market? Yeah, I mean, we, we've seen a rise in mortgage rate by probably 100 basis points in the last few uh, few months. But the, I think the key thing is whether the high ball rate is actually going to go up. Mm -hmm. And that is a, as a call on the U.S. Uh, uh, Federal Reserve. And I think as long as high ball remain pretty steady at this low level, I'm not seeing the possibility of a big uh, crash like 20, 30 percent in mm -hmm. Hong Kong residential property prices. Yeah. Oh, really? That's but right. do you think it will go down next year then? Well, I mean, uh, it, property price, if uh, interest rates going up, uh -huh. obviously it will be uh, more steady. Uh -huh. But uh, it pretty much depends on how much interest rates going up. I mean, like in the last few months, we already seen mortgage rate, effective mortgage rate, gone up by yeah. 100 basis yeah. points. But you didn't see actually, you didn't see property price actually come up. Oh. It, 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 it's slowing down. Okay. But in the last week, it actually picked up a little bit again. All yeah. right, Adrian. Thanks uh, for dropping by.